Apple and Samsung usually don't closely follow each other's phone launches. However, if Apple paid attention to the Galaxy Unpacked event held last month, it would have received a valuable example of what not to do for its upcoming iPhone 15 launch. The positive reviews received by Samsung's July introductions, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Galaxy Z Flip 5, are a testament to the quality of their phones. In particular, the Fold has re-established Samsung's position as the leading provider of foldable phones. If you have been hesitant to get a foldable device, these latest Samsung models are the most refined ones yet. However, it is widely acknowledged, even within Samsung HQ, that the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Galaxy Z Flip 5 are merely incremental updates. This is not a position that Apple can afford to be in when it comes time to unveil the new features of the iPhone 15. I don't think that's going to happen. Based on the rumors surrounding the iPhone 15, it seems like Apple has some significant changes to unveil at this year's Apple September event. This will create a noticeable contrast to what we witnessed at the most recent Galaxy Unpacked event. I don't want to dwell on the fact that Galaxy Unpacked was underwhelming, but the two most fitting words to describe it are ho-hum. Sometimes, it's just like that. Yearly product launches make it challenging for phone makers to truly impress us with substantial enhancements. Coincidentally, the most significant updates to the Z Fold 5 and Z Flip 5 are not attention-grabbing headlines, but rather necessary improvements. Both phones feature new hinges, and the Flip now boasts a larger cover screen. The challenge for Samsung lies in timing. The introduction of incremental updates to its foldable phones coincided with increased competition from devices such as the Pixel Fold and Motorola Raza Plus. With those two phones making stronger-than-expected debuts, it would have been better if Samsung was able to build on its four-year head start with foldable instead of giving us more of the same. If Samsung couldn't achieve that, and there's certainly nothing wrong with phones that make gradual improvements, they could have still attracted attention by making their well-established foldable devices more accessible in terms of pricing. While the Pixel Fold is priced at $1,799, Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 5 chose to maintain its price tag of $1,799 instead of undercutting it by a mere $109 or so. This demonstrates Samsung's confidence in the value and features offered by their innovative device. So Samsung couldn't offer substantial new features on its smartphones, and it chose not to adjust pricing to take on the competition. You can see why we came away from Unpack scratching our heads, even though the new phones received strong reviews. Speaking of the iPhone 15 Pro, it's expected once again to see some significant improvements, starting with the first ever 3 in silicon to power a smartphone. The A17 Bionic chip slated for the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max should deliver both performance and power management improvements over the A16 chip powering the iPhone 14 Pro. Once again, Apple is gearing up for its full product launch, which comes with a unique set of circumstances compared to Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event in July. However, there is one consistent factor between the two events. The expectations are always sky-high when it comes to the launch of new premium phones. The difference seems to be that, based on rumors, Apple seems well-positioned to deliver on those expectations. So, let us know your valuable thoughts below in the comments section. As always, see you tomorrow. Peace out.